so yeah we're just gonna have a little bit of a virtual tour and we'll yeah. try our best to tell you a little bit what life is like at Hartford without actually being there <laughs> Hartford is quite small geographically. It's got quite a big student body, I think, but like, it's quite like everything is packed in. OB is the main quad. Yeah, so OB quad is essentially the oldest part of the college. And it's got pool, the library and chapel in it. And you can see the lawn where we can sit during the Trinity term, which is the summer term. You can't do that at all the colleges, so we're really lucky that we get to do that. And it's really nice where you can just relax with your friends um, during the nice summer days. When you kind of come into OB Quad, there's the lodge. And so that's basically where our porters live. You can phone them at any time or you can visit them at any time and there's always someone on duty. So you're going through to OB and then if you go left, you'll see the spiral staircase, um, which is like one of the most exciting bits about Hartford, other than maybe the bridge, although I love the staircase. I really do have a soft spot for the staircase. So as you walk up Hall, you can see photos of all the, all the students and staff that we have at Hartford. Uh, a group of us got together of students and we got together to organise there to be a portrait gallery um, and it was called Our Community. And it was just about like the community at Hartford and it was super fun. Um, it was super stressful to organise and I did not do enough of my work um, aside from it. But it was, that was a really fun thing. So at the top of the stairs you've got hall which is like basically the word for like a big school canteen effectively but really 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 nice. So hall is where we eat. They have meals 17 times a week including brunch on the weekends which is great because you can sleep in and then they have as much brunch as you want. I'll talk about brunch because I really like brunch. Because brunch is a pretty big thing at Hartford's. Obviously Hartford's is objectively the best brunch. Big beans, hash browns, sausages, um, vegetarian options as well, a fruit bowl. So it's just a really nice meal uh, during the weekend that brings the whole college together. A nice communal thing to do like on the weekends when you might not have like contact hours or you might not see some people um, for a while. It, brunch is a nice thing to do. The prices are very reasonable and it's a lovely space to socialise with friends. That's something that's so nice about the college system is that you really do just know everyone. Like I love those moments where you kind of, you went into brunch and you just see all these different friendship groups and all these different people. It saves you having to go out of college to find food as well and the food's actually quite nice. One of the great things about Hall is that it also caters for people with a wide variety of dietary requirements. So there's always a vegetarian or vegan option and the chicken and lamb is always halal. What's your favourite um, Hall meal? Oh my god, I had a I had like a pie once that was really, really nice. Pie. <laughs> like I'm, I can't, I can't, you know, I can't get away from my roots. I just love pie. You also have formal dinners that you can attend twice a week and those are just a bit fancier free course meals. You don't have to go to them, but again, it could be something very nice to do with your friends on a Sunday evening. Definitely. And the hall is also like a, a place where we host stuff like jazz and drinks and other yeah. events throughout the term. I mean, it's, it's a great space to use, which the whole college can enjoy. So then if you come out of the hall and you go back downstairs, you can come back into the quad. So as you move like along OB quad, you get to see our library. So every college has its own library and then you also have university and faculty libraries. I tended to work pretty much religiously in the Hartford library. Um, Whenever I went in, Fenella was... I, I loved it there. The library is set across three floors uh, I think it has around 50,000 books. Um, that is the lamest thing I've ever said that I just said I loved it there. It's a 24 hour library which is really useful. Doesn't mean that we're there 24 7 but if you prefer to work at different times um, you'd definitely find the time for you. There's like different bits of the library for like how intense the, you would like to work so it's nice because it's like really sunny upstairs. Really really nice big windows in there. It is quite chill like it's it's not there's not loads and loads of rules it wasn't like you were going to get told off if you like whispered a little bit or had a, a slight chat sometimes yeah in general the hartford library is a very open and inclusive space so if you want something that's like a little bit less like intense you can just kind of chill out there and you can see lots of different people or if you want something where you've got to kind of like got to get down there's like the law library is it, is it the law library bit? yeah the wooden bit lovingly nicknamed the law dungeon it's one of the, the nicest spots in the library it's very quiet and you have your own desk with charges and things you'll often find simpkins the college cat roaming around in there seeing other people's seats jumping on their laptops and stuff there have been so many times where i've literally had to like wheel out a chair 
and wheel in a different chair just because he's like sleeping at one of the desks mm -hmm. and so then I'm just like oh well I can't shoe you so while he's sleeping I just have to like move the chair and get another chair yeah. in yeah no he always wins and then he he has ousted multiple students yeah. from their seats and then our librarian is really lovely she will get you the books that you need for your course just for an idea of how just how supportive Alice is like she has literally been like posting books to people um buying our online versions of things you know she's just the best she's really really great um, yeah it's a general thing to say about Hartford which is yeah. that college staff you get to just know them really really well when I when I applied to Oxford I really really didn't anticipate that that you would you'd get to know like just like a really nice range of people and another lovely lovely human being that we have at college is our chaplain Mia next to the library we have our college chapel um, and this space is basically open to all religions no religions it's basically a quiet space for you to come and sit if you just need to escape from everything for a little bit and it's also used as a space for a lot of university-wide events for instance the trans remembrance service is hosted in there every year our college chaplain Mia is also part of the welfare team at Hartford and she's a part of the biggest support network um, available at college and at university as a whole and there's, there's also a lot of musical events they go on in the chapels so Hartford is a really really good place to be for anyone who likes music the, the Hartford Choir, it's the biggest non-auditioning choir in Oxford. We had a rock concert in the chapel. Um, Mia, let, um, the kind of head of our music society is in like a band and he was like, oh, I'd really love to do a gig in the chapel. And so Mia was like, yeah, carry on. So we had like a full on rock concert in the chapel and it was really, really good. It was super fun. Okay, so if we go through here, this is the bridge of size probably the most famous bit about Hartford. Um, I think it's technically called the Hartford Bridge, but nobody calls it that, it's just called the Bridge of Sighs. It's one of the most iconic things about Hartford. You can usually recognise the college because it's called the one with the bridge. So oftentimes people have been to Oxford and stuff and they'll be like, oh, what college do you go to? I went to Oxford. And I'll be like, oh, it's, it's Hartford College. And then they'll be like, oh, I don't know. And they'll be like, it's the one with the bridge. And they're like, oh, yes, yeah, I've got a photo with it. <laughs> and from the bridge, you can see the Sheldonian Theatre that hosts a lot of music events throughout the year. You can also see the Bodleian Library. And yeah, it's just a really nice view. Um, whenever you're walking over it, you can pretty much guarantee that there's people outside taking pictures. On every day of the year, something different is happening in front of the bridge, whether it's a wedding, whether there's a film crew outside, whether they're taking photos of classic cars. Um, it's such a tourist hotspot um, and it's so lovely to have that as part of the college. So the bridge takes you over into NB Quad, which is New Buildings Quad and Hollywell Quad. When you live in college in first year, it saves you having to get dressed to make it to hall. You can walk over it whenever you like. I don't recommend, um, <laughs> just purely because the stairs are just a pain. It's easier to just go across. It's more the exciting on the outside than on the inside. Uh, and if we come down the bridge and outside, we, we get to NB Quad, um, or new building. And this is one of the quads with the accommodation at Hartford. Some of the really important things in, in NB are like the college nurse and the, the chaplain's office. MB Quad also hosts a number of the tutors rooms where you might have tutorials. As an engineer, one of my tutors um, is based in MB Quad, so it's mm. perfect. Literally a two second walk away from first year accommodation. And then you've got things like um, the gym and DTB, which I'll let Charlotte talk about because she runs the bar. And we've also got the gym in MB Quad, which is a big bonus. The gym is underground. Um, it's clearly I haven't been there very often if I just walk <laughs> around, is it? Yeah, and it's completely free to use as well, which is good. You have uh, a music practice room and a laundry, so it's really convenient to have all these things on site, especially in your first year. Logistically, it is super convenient to just have everything within walking distance. Um, so as you go from uh, NB Quad into Hollywell Quad, um, you go through like a little kind of corridor and then there is a door to the bar. So to get to Hartford's bar you have to walk down a long set of stairs which is why most people in our college refer to our bar as DTB, also known as down the bar. 
DTB is like, it's just my happy place in college. I love it so much. Um, I'm the bar rep, so I basically like run the um, events and stuff. It doesn't matter what day of the week you go in there, whether it's Monday, Sunday, Tuesday, whatever day, there's always people in there. It's, really, it's a really nice space, actually. Um, and it's got like signs that people have stolen. Hartford made it to University Challenge. Um, and then we've got like, you know, like University Challenge, you've got the like light with the team. So we've got that up there. Um, so Joe and I both work down the bar. Uh, it's a really nice place to work as well as just be. It's open as a cafe as well during the day. You can grab a quick coffee or a muffin um, to take a break from your library study, which is really nice. Charlotte, I just remember, were you there when I smashed two bottles of wine? I cleaned it up. <laughs> I thought you did. DTB is also a space that can be booked out by students for um, weekly events such as LGBT drinks or films night. Um, there's also pub quizzes, etc. When I was LGBT rep, it was so, you always, not in a pressurising way of you don't have to drink or anything, but that we would always organise events down the bar and there would always be, and like there's always women's nights usually every term. And just, it's just so nice, like everyone goes, like it is really, lots of, lots of people go. Like a lot of people who don't drink, who still use um, the bar yeah. as like their main kind of social space, because yeah. people come down and like have a lemonade or like have whatever you want and just sit and chill, you know, and yeah. it's a really nice space to just exist in. Okay, so um, this is our Hollywell quad. It's the second quad that, host, that has all the accommodation for first years living at Hartford. In this quad you also find our uh, junior common room or the JCR. There's a pool table, a sofa, a TV, the PS4. There are two really good vending machines. Vending machines. It's basically where a lot of people just go to kind of relax in college. You'd all go to the JCR and watch the World Cup together and when we were on University Challenge like everyone went there and I've truly I've never seen that many people in one room. I remember watching the Game of Thrones finale with a group of friends there in my first year. And we had Love Island. <gasps> yeah. Everyone, everyone used to go there to watch Love Island all the time. Yeah that was a good time. And this is one of the quads with the accommodation at Hartford. So at Hartford we're really lucky because we get accommodation um, for all years of study which you don't get at all the colleges necessarily and so the rooms vary in size but they're generally good i had an amazing room in first year i lived in mb quad in my first year and i found it really nice i thought the rooms were quite big all well, the university rooms on open days always look really small and then i was just shocked because it was like twice as big as i was expecting and um, so yeah i think the quality of rooms was something that i was pretty happy about and it's, and it's you know not too expensive to live in oxford either um, I did. Oh, that's really cute. I know, I know. I got shown to my room and it, I just remember it being really warm and I was like, oh, this is still Yeah, oh, I remember this now, yeah. Yeah, I ate a curry pot noodle while you were telling us about the staircase. <laughs> they're like, the bedrooms, as you say, they, they range a little bit, but they're all very nice. And all of the, the ones in Hollywell are being like refurbed and stuff. So that's really nice. The kitchens, oh my God. Well, I've seen some of these new kitchens and I'm so jealous because when I got there, I had a toaster, a kettle and a microwave. <laughs> they look great now. I think one of the nice things about um, Hartford catering is that you get to choose how catered you are. So the yeah. fact that um, most staircases will have access to a kitchen um, on site and off site. Generally, anywhere in Oxford, it's not really very common to have uh, to, to be like fully self catered. Even off site accommodation at Hartford is still very central. In your second and third year, you get more choice for accommodation as well. So you can ballot um, to live with your friends, you can um, live in one of the houses owned by Hartford if you prefer to live like with a small group. And one of our accommodation blocks in South Oxford also has ensuite rooms. So you get a variety of choice when, when you get into your second and third year as to what type of room you live in. I honestly, like everyone talks about like academic stuff with Oxford, rightly, because it is technically an academic institution, but it's also like, it's stressful, but it is, it's so much fun. The academic pressure also like, it can be sometimes a bit daunting, especially like when you're new to it and stuff like that. But inevitably that is what builds like the friendships because when you're, when you're all under pressure together, like it builds much stronger kind of yeah. friendship because everyone's in the same boat and you're like, oh God, yeah, okay. I think Hartford gen genuinely is the perfect college. Like I can't put it any more clearly. This is the best place ever. Everyone's so nice. <laughs>